Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today I am going to discuss about uh, DTMF uh, stress testing uh, using CP. So CP application, you often found that when stress testing, you have various IVR applications. And those IVR applications, if you want to test, there are some DTMF input required, voice input required. So this kind of uh, voice input and DTMF input, how you will auto generate all these inputs. This is what I am going to discuss, uh, how CP tool can be useful here in generating, auto generating the DTMF uh, tones. So friends, uh, before starting, let's see here. I have already uploaded few more videos related to CP. So here I have discussed about the voice application, how you will auto generate the voice application, uh, voice input here using CP. So I recommend you to go through all these videos first. This video will describe the media uh, capabilities of uh, C for voice applications uh, uh, using CP. So friends, these are all the videos. I recommend you to go through all these videos first. So let's start today's topic, friends. So here uh, I have chosen a USC application uh, to uh, to show how the uh, how to auto generate the uh, how to auto generate the DTMF input using CP tool. So what uh, CP is doing here is uh, sending an invite to an application, virus application, web application and it's answering the call once the call get answered it will push uh, it will auto generate a dtmf input now you can see here this pick up play audio function this i already discussed in my earlier video that i have shown so there i have discussed about this function it's an async function so how this async function works uh, and how it uh, establishes the media and send the media inputs so here uh, the DTMF things uh, like if you check So inside this folder, you will find all the DTMF uh, pickups are already there. These are default pickups provided by CP. So with this CP application, this uh, when you download the CP application, these uh, DTMFs are by default provided. So you can use this DTMF to generate the DTMF tones. Basically, these are some RTP tones captured here. So when you play this PKF file, it will generate that corresponding RTP package. Now, uh, if you check this uh, XML file, here what I am doing is I am just playing the DTMF tone. Now, how this will be helpful in uh, testing your IVR application? So basically your IVR application, there will be some menu where it will be asking for press 1 for this, press 2 for this. So basically you will wait, uh, like here you can put and wait and like uh, while playing the IVR you know that after 5 seconds you have to put some DTMF input. So you can uh, wait here for 5 seconds then you can put the DTMF input to uh, proceed. So it will auto generate these DTMF inputs and it will generate the tones. So friends this is the function. This is all about this uh, DTMF inputs. So let's check how it works. So, uh, so basically this uh, DTMF function, I already discussed in my earlier video, this PKF play, this, uh, this PKF uh, play or PKF audio function is not by default supported in CP. So you have to compile it with uh, uh, these options. So if you compile, if you configure and compile this uh, CP with this option, then only this pick up play function, pick up play audio function is uh, enabled and it is supported. Otherwise, this will be shown as is not supported function. So let's. So let's uh, test one call here. So basically what I did is I have another. Uh, 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 web application server where I am sending this invite and that application will send back me 200 OK and once the 200 OK it uh, receives after one second it will play back a DTMF tone. 
so what i have done is i already captured that uh, trace so i will be showing you the trace once uh, let's first see how it works so here is send an invite so after one second it play one audio uh, play the dtmf tone and wait for two seconds basically this dtmf tone play uh, takes some milliseconds around uh, I mean uh, some milliseconds so we have to wait for some time because I already discussed this uh, play function is an async function so until the DTMF uh, play is complete we have to wait for some time then uh, we can release and play the next DTMF like this so here I have waited and I have played one DTMF only so this flow I already captured in a trace so this is the trace I captured earlier. So let's uh, let's uh, check this. Uh, so I have captured the RTP things. So here, see here. So the CPU uh, generated this DTMF tone automatically because here I played this DTMF one. If you check this XML file. So here I have played DTMF1. So I have captured the same here in pickup trace. So it is showing that the DTMF1 is generated successfully uh, using CP application. So other end will receive this one and process this DTMF. So if you want to uh, want to run a complete IVR flow, how you will do this? Uh, this I will be showing you in uh, another section where you have to create your own uh, PK file. How you will capture and how we will generate this PK file to run a complex uh, IVR flow. This I will be showing in next section. So this is how the DTMF things works. So if you replace one with two, three, four, five, six, so all these DTMFs are there actually. So here you can replace this, you can play any of this uh, file and you can generate any of the DTMF that you uh, require during running the flow. So friends, this is all about DTMF input using CP. So here uh, is my, my, my channel. So here I have uploaded more videos related to uh, CP, RTP and voice uh, web applications. So here you will get a good understanding of CP and RTP things. So, uh, which is very much required to understand the CP application. There are more videos like SS7 uh, related videos, uh, Sigtran and SMSC, uh, ISAP, all this. Here, CC related videos, OpenShift related videos, SMPP and SMSC related videos, OIVRTC related videos. So, all protocol related videos I have uploaded here, most of the telecom protocols. So, you can go through all these videos if you are interested. And, friends, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and uh, get the notification. Uh, so, uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you. Thanks friends. Thanks for watching.